in this lesson we will discuss about the font group so whenever you will open the excel file by default you can see the font is calibri and font size is 11 right what is the calibri means and what is the 11 means how they work so here i have written we are learning basic excel see this is the font is calibri if you want to change this font font means the style of writing so open this arrow and then you can see scroll there are too many different writing styles right but by default means when you will open it is calibri you can change see this is a different style so i will click here and you can see you can observe the changes here if i will pick arial black it will be like this and this is arial narrow right all these fonts are there you have to choose according to your requirements so here i will show you one which is called the time romans because normally we, we write in calibri or time romans so it will be after s time see this time if i will click here so now my font is times new roman so now if you will read all this the same information is provided here by default the font of each new workbook is set to calibri however excel provides a variety of other fonts you can use to customize your cell text in the example below we will format our title cell or help the distinguish so see select the cell you wish to modify so i want to modify this my heading that is why it is selected now go to the here now it is time roman same thing if you want to increase or decrease the font right here i will show you the new slide which deals with the okay first i will copy this press ctrl c and then i will copy here here it says tip when creating a workbook in the workplace you will want to select the font that is easy to read normally we use calibri right standard reading fonts include camera and then times roman on arial but again these are not necessary that you have to work on these three or four you can choose your own but it should be in the readable format now is the font size see here by default it is 11 if you want to increase the font size open this arrow then there are different number 16 see i am clicking here and you can observe whatever you want if it is heading if you want to write down big so you can use 24 font size so this is 22 and so on so this is the font this is the font size same font size you can increase here right increase font size this is a and see now it is increasing same this is for decreasing see this is the small and the small a is for decreasing right again same information is provided here so you can read please very slowly it will really help you to change the color now see suppose this one is my text so what i can write down again we are learning we are learning excel here we have learned that we are going to change it to suppose i will make it and i am going to make my font size this now i want to change the color of my text so this one open this whatever you want i want red this is dark red yellow green purple whatever you want i say okay red so we are learning excel select the cell you wish to modify i want to modify this and then open this arrow and this live colors will open for you live preview of the colors and then you have to choose whatever color you want i can copy this so it will be easy for me okay select the cell you wish one more thing i will show you here it says that if you want to make bold which we already did right so see here this one no sorry we didn't make it bold if i will write down very small like this we are 
uh, learning Excel this line if you want to make it bold so this one B click on B right this is bold and this one is the underline click here this is underline and this is italic if you want to increase the font size so see then we can make comparison this is bold underline and italic from where we are getting all these functions in the font group home tab and font group right okay now here it is written tip if you want to do bold italic now this is your homework you have to do if you want to use your keypad so you can also press Control plus B on your keyboard to make the selected text bold instead of this B press Control and B Control and I for italic Control U Control plus U for underline see underline starts with U that is why it is control plus U bold starts with B then control plus B italic starts from I control plus I if you forget this is the way to memorize right okay I hope this is clear too and then is see here I have written I can show you here one more time sorry what I am doing we are if I will write down we are learning uh, excel right so it is cw we are learning cell so this sentence takes three columns w x and y if i say it should take w x y z and a whatever so what you have to do select all this range and then in the alignment group click on merge and center see now all the lines has gone and we have this text only there now we will work on this alignment group a part of alignment group as well see this is highlighted it means it is in the center this one is the left align if I will click here it will move here if I will say here this is the right align it will go there if it is this one it will be in the center right similarly this one is the middle align this one is the top align see now you have to practice all this right it is very very easy and everything is written here what is how do you have to use merge and center and all these function you will find out in the alignment group okay to add a fill color so which we already did right so you have to open open the this palette and whatever color you want now is the formatting text and numbers we had discussed this in our last lesson as well so here i will show you one more time what is the meaning of this see here if i will write down 456 if you want to make it bold font size should be this if you want to con put a dollar sign here right these are all the different uh, formats you can pick from here as well but open this arrow and then this is the journal number this is the number number format open this currency and if you want to write down in accounting this is the accounting format right date is not there so these are all the different functions now this is again your job you have to work on it and later on I will explain to you one by one all what these functions are and how they will work in Excel right this was the very simple very simple lesson so after this you have to work on it because we have we have discussed all these points here you have to select a cell and change the font style size and color and so on after this you will be able to work on the font group a part of the alignment group as well see you in the next lesson and thank you